I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. So you know the programming we do here at the Midas Touch Network, how we are very fact and evidence-based, but I want to show you what's going on on the other side. The MAGA Republican podcast shows what do they look like. And one of the biggest uh, personalities, I don't know what to call it, biggest personalities of the MAGA podcast world are the Trump's spouses or significant others or fiance. So Kimberly Garfoyle, Kimberly Guilfoyle, Garfoyle, Kimberly Guilfoyle, Donald Trump's son's girlfriend, hosts this show on something called Rumble. And it's one of the main places that MAGA Republicans go to get their disinformation and to get their dose of Biden needs to be impeached, Biden needs to be impeached. And you know, as you watch this Kimberly Guilfoyle show, it's like she is, it, it is sad to watch. It is sad to watch and the guests they have on, the hatred that they have for the United States of America, the hatred they have of facts and evidence and just the the the, the anger that they spew and the weirdness is so bizarre. Anyway, I want to show you what goes on here. So this is what happens with the Kimberly Guilfoyle show. So they always begin with her announcing uh, th this is going to be the show and here are the guests. And they all start the same way. So watch, this is Kimberly Guilfoyle announcing her guests for this episode. And she says it's Tommy Tuberville, who's the one preventing military promotions. Anna Paulina Luna, who's like changed her identity and name and is kind of like a, also like a George Santos. Here, wa watch this intro, play this. Hey everybody, Kimberly Guilfoyle here, getting ready to go live on Rumble, 4 p.m. Eastern. Download the app, subscribe to my show, it's free, KG for free, and turn on notifications. Huge show today, you're gonna love it bigly. We have Congresswoman, Anna Paulina Luna joining us, former federal prosecutor and friend of mine, Doug Burns joining us, and the legendary coach of all time, Senator Tommy Tuckerville. Tune in right now, we're covering it all. And all of the intros are like that. Like here is another one of these intros, just so you get a vibe of like what's going on here. Here, play this clip. Hey everybody, Kimberly Guilfoyle here, getting ready to go live right now, 4 p.m. Eastern on the Kimberly Guilfoyle Show. Download the Rumble app, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, jam-packed show today. Exposing the corruption, talking about impeachment for President Biden. We have Devin Nunez and we have the one and all late greatest lawyer, Alan Dershowitz as well, and two superstar America First congressmen. We have Congressman Ogles and Congressman Muser joining us right now. And if you haven't picked up the theme right now, it's all impeach Biden, impeach Biden. They don't care about evidence, just impeach the guy. And that's all they talk about here. Watch this other one where she says, we're going to have these guests and guess what they're going to talk about? Impeaching Biden. Play this clip. Everybody, Kimberly Guilfoyle here, getting ready to go live on my Rumble channel, Kimberly Guilfoyle show starting 4 p.m. Eastern. We have a fantastic panel today with former Treasury Department woman, Monica Crowley, and Congressman Wesley Hunt on the disasters that the Biden administration is leading this country through and also about Trump. Should he debate? Where's the campaign going? What's the latest? Tune in. All right, so then you go on and, and you watch it. Like, let's, which one of those intros? Let's take one of them at random. Let's do the one with Tommy Tuberville, Senator from Alabama, MAGA Republican is holding up the promotions. Let's pull that one up salty. And then let's do Anna Paulina Luna, the MAGA Republican Congress member from Florida who wears the AR-15 pin instead of the American flag pin. Okay, um, let's do the Anna Paulina interview. Okay, so this is Kimberly Guilfoyle interviewing Anna Paulina Luna. And you'll see just like everything she says is a lie. You know, there's no evidence for it. Like we've all covered here what's gone on, what's gone down in these House oversight hearings and Judiciary Committee hearings and the Orwellian named weaponization committee by the MAGA Republicans. Like with fake whistleblowers, they have no evidence. They say there's audio recordings. The audio recordings don't exist. They say their witnesses are spies from China and Russian oligarchs and that makes them more credible. Just 
pure lunacy. But speaking of that, here is Anna Paulina Luna just spewing a bunch of nonsense about President Joe Biden. Play this clip. Yes, in fact, I've co-sponsored pretty much every privilege resolution that's come out about that in regards to Biden. And the reason I've done that is because I, being on oversight, have seen the evidence. And not just that, but I mean, you have the president of the United States who as vice president was selling his position and personally enriching his family. And then you have this aspect of national security, him working with countries like the Communist Chinese Party, like Russia, who have no invested interest in really seeing the United States prosper. And so yeah. this is serious corruption. And so I do support it. But I also believe that because we're seeing such blocking and tackling from the DOJ, from the IRS, from the FBI, on behalf of the Biden family and the Biden administration, administration that I don't think that we're actually going to get a fair investigation if we rely on these people to quote unquote do their jobs. And so as a, a, a measure in dealing with that, I think that Congress could open up that investigation. Ultimately, it would be Senate that would conduct it, but at least we would be able to get those facts out to the American people. And I would even say that to the three senators that have said that we don't want to um, quote unquote, retribution politics that are GOP senators, you know, if you're going to have an R next to your name and that's your position, then I really think that you should reconsider whether or not you should be in Senate, because right now this is about public corruption, holding accountability, and we need to do the right thing. Yeah, this is the same Anna Paulina Luna who just gave an interview and she said that Spanish speakers think Hispanics are too stupid to know English. And she also compared it to speaking Kenyan, is what she said, which isn't a language, but just play this clip of Anna Paulina Luna. And it frustrates and annoys, and honestly, it's disrespectful to a Hispanic Americans seeing the pandering that's happening. You know, acting we like, speak oh, English, first of all. I know, all. exactly. I, I was trying to explain this to someone. I was like, you know, for outreach, like, why would you... And like you don't go up, excuse me, but like you don't go up to someone who's black and start speaking like Kenyan to them. You know what I'm saying? So why would you automatically go up to someone who's born in the United States and start speaking Spanish as if they're too stupid to know the own language that we've assimilated into? It's our country, too. Yeah. yeah. And it's the same Anna Paulina Luna who says that she speaks to foreign leaders all the time. And the foreign leaders, and the foreign leaders tell her that they want Trump to win. Here, play this clip. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> But it's a huge problem. And what I'm meeting with these foreign leaders and they're telling us we need Trump back, they're waiting for us to shine again, be the beacon of light and freedom in this country and on the world stage. I'm telling you right now, he's gonna win and we're gonna be there every step of the way. Okay, and then Tommy Tuberville goes on. I mean, Tommy Tuberville, this MAGA Republican senator from Alabama who tries to take credit for the infrastructure projects that he voted against, the Inflation Reduction Act where he tries to take benefit for all of the benefits his constituents get. He acts like he did it, but he's blocking promotions of military generals and key military staff. And he's blocking it because he's saying that the military um, should not be providing uh, any offsets for expenses for women seeking reproductive care. And as a result, he wants to block military promotions. And he's creating a crisis in our military right now, like affirmatively attacking the United States military. Like this is what the MAGA Republicans do here. Play this clip. This is a very important issue uh, nationally to stop the Pentagon's abortion policy. And where does it stand today? Well, Kimberly, I've been up here almost three years and the animals are running the zoo. After President Trump left office, they, they haven't done anything that's actually gone through the comp, uh, Constitution. Everything is circumventing the Constitution. And, and yes, this is really about uh, taxpayers having to pay for mm -hmm. something to do with abortion. But it also has to do with running straight over our Constitution, tearing down everything that this country has built in 247 years. This is just something where we can fight back a little bit to let this uh, White House know you're not going to do this. You're going to have to do it the right way or, or take your time. And you know, I'm holding these up, Kimberly, mm -hmm. but I'm really holding up a group at a time. They can bring them. Schumer can can do them one at a time and 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 have all these confirmed. They don't want to do that. Uh, you know, they like it easy, but they they don't want to uh, really admit that they're wrong here. And just so you can compare Finally, just like, okay, you saw MAGA Republican Anna Paulina Luna and Tommy Tuberville. I, I want to take us back 
to the world of normalcy. This is the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff nominee, General Charles C.Q. Brown Jr., who's currently the Chief of Staff of the Air Force, which is the highest ranking general and leader for the entire U.S. Air Force. Just watch how he responds when he's asked the question about how Tommy Tuberville's actions are impacting the military. This is a military leader saying the danger that's being caused by MAGA Republicans. Play this clip. I want to close and use our remaining time by asking about the impact of the holds on the promotions and assignments of senior military officers that the senator from Alabama has imposed. The families of these service members are held at a standstill. They're unsure about where to enroll their kids in school or whether they need to arrange a move across country or even somewhere else around the world. General Brown, can you just spend a minute here and talk to us about the impact that these holds are having on our military families? There, there's several factors that I think about as, as we're going through this and, and how we are uh, working to mitigate uh, the challenges associated with the holds. There's aspects of uh, readiness and the transition in leadership um, and for our, our young service members to know who uh, is in the position of uh, leadership that has, that's qualified, has the experience to be there and not in some cases put in a, uh, we have you know strong deputies, but at the same time, they don't have the same level of experience uh, going forward. In addition to the senior officers, there's a whole chain of events that go down to our more junior officers, and that has an impact. Uh, it has an impact on their uh, for, you know, progression in their uh, career field potentially, because if one doesn't get promoted or move on, then they're, you know, they're, they're blocking a, a spot for someone else. At the same time, we have several members who are, have served honorably and are ready to retire, but they're gonna, in some cases, stay uh, with us to help us mitigate through, through that challenge. The area that hits us, uh, I think, uh, that we do need to think about is how it impacts our families, um, because it has an impact, um, not just for the senior officer, but you know all their staff and all those below them, um, it has an impact. And as you highlighted, it's, whether it's school, whether it's employment, or the fact that they've already sold their home because they thought they were gonna move, and, and now are living in temporary quarters, uh, that creates a challenge. The last thing I'd highlight on that is my concern there is future retention. Mm -hmm. Because we have our more junior officers who now will look up and say, if that's the challenge that I'm gonna have to deal with in the future, uh, I may not wanna, I'm gonna balance between my family and serving in a senior position. And we will lose talent uh, uh, because of uh, those, those challenges. And uh, our, our, the, the spouse network is alive and well, yeah. and the spouses will uh, compare notes. And uh, you know the member may wanna serve, but the, the spouses uh, and the families get a huge vote and, and why we continue uh, to be able to serve. And I, I thank my family for that opportunity to allow I, me to continue I to see Mrs. Brown nodding her head on this as well. You know, if the senator from Alabama continues his reckless action, he will soon be holding 650 leaders who have served their country honorable hostage. And as you rightly point out, that has effects on many more of the best and brightest who have volunteered to serve uh, our nation. I heard the senator say as he concluded his questions that if there was anything he could do to help uh, you in your actions and help the service that he would be glad to do it. What he could do to help is lift this stay before it does more damage to our country. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, and by the way, just so you know, uh, General C.Q. Brown Jr., he was also promoted once during the Trump administration. So for anyone going, oh, is that like a Biden general? No, he's a general. He's a general. And because MAGA Republicans want to own the libs or harm President Biden, they are attacking our military. I mean, that just goes to show they support the insurrectionists. They're attacking our military readiness. They are just spewing all of these lies. They 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 cheer on Russia and root against Ukraine and an actual democracy. I mean, you have to reflect on this when they tell you who they are. Believe it. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. We're on our way to 1.5 million subscribers. Make sure you hit subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our new website, MidasTouch.com. Have a great day. Hey, Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at MidasTouch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.